man can live above the spirit of death by confession, by acceptance into the mandate. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. That is why don't keep quiet over your life. Everybody that meets you should know who you represent. Job 17 verse 1. Anytime spirit of death want to kill men, we make grave ready for them. My spirit is broken. He said, my spirit is broken. My days are extinguished. My days are extinguished. The grave is ready for me. Then somebody say, my grave can never be ready on earth. My, my grave, grave can, can never be ready on earth. I, until you use your hand to nullify the agreement or covenant you will have with the dead. When death comes, it will not take permission to kill you. But once you nullify it, death can't kill you without taking your permission anymore. Death will come to ask you, do you want, you want to die? You say, no, I don't want to die. We go. Because the agreement or covenant, whether somebody enter it or you enter it, can be nullified. As far as you are alive, power of life and death is in your tongue. In, in the book of Proverbs, it says the Proverbs way you are. 18, 21. Yes. yes. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yes. And those who love it will eat it from Yes. He also says, so say, the way you said it to my ear, so shall I do it unto you. Number 40, 28. Say to them. Say to them. As I live. As I live. Says the Lord. Says the Lord. Just as you have spoken. Just as you have spoken. In my hearing. In my hearing. So I will do to you. Finish. Word has power. 